Good morning, everyone. This is Pearlie Martin. I want to, I'm back in with another video on how to find unclaimed money for the state of Oklahoma. So you want to go make sure it's the official state page, oklahoma.gov slash treasure, Oklahoma Treasure Department. See, Oklahoma Treasure Department. This is the home page. You want to go to the official page. When we get to the official page, we're going to see up here where it says unclaimed property. We want to click on that. Unclaimed property. Okay. You want to search on unclaimed property. Okay. When we hit on that search unclaimed property page, it's going to take us here. Here, we're just for illustration purposes. Um, let's see. Uh, we're, the the less words you use, the better, but let me try someone here I know. Let's try Alicia Green. Let's see. Um, You can put the, I, I wouldn't even really put the name of the city in because if any part of Oklahoma you lived in, it'll pull it up. Okay, so it says nothing here, right? So let's go back and do another search if you've uh, had more than one uh last name if you've been married put that in okay let's try the city narrow the search sometimes you might need to broaden the search time sometimes you might need to um narrow the search if you if the last name is really common um you might want to put as much information in there as you can or put the last name, your first initial, your middle name initial. Okay, so there's nothing there. So watch this if I just put quarter in by itself. Watch what happens. Um, I think I'm just going to leave the first initial out. Or I'm just going to put the first initial, let's see. And I'm not going to put a city. So now we come up with some names. We got Stanley Porter. Uh, I'm just going to hit on, the names are over here on the side. See the names over here on the side? Look for your name. You're going to know if this was you because it's going to have identifying information. You're going to have to prove it's you. Okay, it's got the street address. Have you ever lived on this street before? Uh, have you ever lived in more Oklahoma? This is how much? $100. Someone... Over a hundred on here. Um, let me find where they also want a lot of money. Okay, so this is all for the porter. Okay, let's go back and take the first initial out. Let's go back to the search. I want to hit here so I can go back to the search. Okay, so here I'm just gonna put the last name and let's put the city. Let's say, um. Uh, Again, I really wouldn't advise it, but just search different ways. Sometimes you have the first name, last name. Sometimes you might put the first initial, middle name, last name. You know, you just got to kind of play around with it. Um, let's go to Lawton. I know some porters in Lawton. Let's see. Okay, let's see if we come up with anything like this. Okay, we do. So... The city helped me to find some porters in Lawton. We have um, Alexander Porter. If you're watching, it's over a hundred dollars. They owe you some money. Again, the names are all over here on the side. Just look over here on the side to see. This is the name, and then you're gonna know if it's you. We got an Eddie Porter, twenty-two seventeen North Pollard. Um, they owe you under a hundred dollars. So how do we find it? We got a George Porter. Uh, they owe him over a hundred dollars. Um, let's look on under Eddie Porter for Pollard. If you, Eddie, if you're watching, if you ever lived on Pollard, then they owe you. It's under a hundred. Sometimes you know people get um, they owe people deposits. So what we'll do here is we'll initiate a claim, right? Say this is me, okay? 
So we hit initiate the claim. And when you hit initiate the claim, it's going to have your name in there. It's going to, you're going to put all your information in there. And then you're going to hit continue. And then it's going to tell you what to do there. You, you're you going to have to upload your ID, you know, information to prove that it's really you. Uh, some states have you to print it off. I don't know. Every state is not the same, but we're going to always go to the state treasurer department. Make sure it's the official state page so you're not giving your information um, to sites that don't. That's not yours. Okay? Your information. Make sure so you're not giving information to bogus sites. So we want to go back home, hit home. Don't say, just search for yourself. Search for friends and family and loved ones. I found money for friends, family, loved ones. I called them and said, hey, you got some unclaimed money in the state of Oklahoma. Let's, let's, uh, I just want to do a name search for some people. Okay, so let's, I know some binders. Let's look up some binders. First initial J. Let's, Jasmine, is it okay if I look up you? Okay. I'm not going to put the city because sometimes, you may have lived in more than one city. Okay. Let me take that. Let's go again. Let's uh Kramer, Kramer, Kramer. Jasmine, can I look up you? Okay. Let's just say J Kramer. And let's see what we get. Okay. There's a Bobber Kramer. There's a J Kramer from Midwest City. And they owed so they're owed under a hundred dollars so say if this is you and you lived on uh j kramer if you lived on 9517 southwest 29th street in midwest city oklahoma they owe you under a hundred dollars okay so the way you would get it is like i said you claim it you gotta initiate the claim and then you put your information in here if that's you, you got to put your social security number, all your information in there. This, that's what you want to make sure it's the official site. And then you're going to hit continue and go on from there. Okay. And that's it for the state of Oklahoma. It's pretty self-explanatory. I pray you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, get your money. It's money in the horse's mouth. Um, you guys be blessed. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and look up some of your other family members and friends. If you find someone, call them up and say, hey, the state of Oklahoma owes you some money.